I'm Marcus, and thank you for watching. Whoever and wherever you are, I have no idea, but I'm going to talk to you about ideas. That introductory clip with music from the movie 2001 summarises my key idea, which is everything in our reality has ten facets or ideas which are interconnected and need to be balanced. Now these ten facets form the basis for five principles of reality which can give us a better idea about ourselves and the universe. And there is also a spiritual principle which binds them all together, giving us an idea of the divine. Here's a diagram that I call an Octicon. The first principle I call controlled creativity. It links facet one with nine and says that everything has an original creative freedom that has to be subject to control to give it order and limits. In other words, ideas such as originality, freedom and creativity are complemented by ideas such as influence, judgment and choice. Freedom needs rules. The second principle I call changing permanence. It links facet 2 with 8 and says that everything has a material physicality that has to embody motion for it to exist and do work. In other words, ideas such as materiality, sensing and stability are complemented by ideas such as movement, change and application. Matter requires motion. The third principle I call integrated separation. It links facet 3 with 7 and can be stated as everything has different parts that have to integrate into a greater whole to give it purpose. In other words, ideas such as difference, parts and components are complemented by ideas such as wholeness, direction and purpose. Parts form wholes. The fourth principle I call expressed intelligence. It links facet four with six and says that everything has an intelligence or consciousness that has to express itself to give it meaning. In other words, ideas such as intellect, mind and thought are complemented by ideas such as expression, phenomenon and message. Thought has meaning. The principle I call, sorry for the jargon, externalised interiority. It links facet 5 with 10 and says that everything has an internal self or structure that has to connect with others to give it identity. In other words, ideas such as internalities, reflection and structure are complemented by ideas such as relationships, connection and externalities. We ourselves need others. And to finish, I call the overriding prince spiritual principle divine attraction. It holds the ten facets together and says that everything depends for its being on God's divine love. This love needs to be passed on to everything else for it to grow. In other words, for a Christian, these facets of being must be balanced by acts of unconditional love, where, as Jesus taught us, we must love God with all our faculties and others as much as we love ourselves. Love needs obedience. In the introductory clip, the final pick of the universe with Mary holding Jesus reminds us of the idea that he lived as a human being like us and used all his faculties in perfect balance. His divine love for us can help us to love like he did 2,021 years ago, and it still does. The principal idea of life is that we all need to love and to be loved. It was God's idea to love us into being, and these five principles and ten facets are my idea of what it means to be a loving human being. So, I hope you now have an idea of what I wanted to talk to you about. 
Thanks for listening and may God bless you.